Let's move on to lesson number three. Lesson number three, speaking of masks, we must disinfect our masks. The outside of the mask is dirty. The inside is technically clean, but it's not really clean because it has some moisture from, uh, from our own saliva, from our breathing, and that can harbor bacteria as well. And it's kind of tricky to disinfect masks. We have three options we wanted to propose to you. One is taking some hydrogen peroxide, diluting it uh, quite a bit, 20% uh, hydrogen peroxide, 80% uh, water, so very, very lo uh, low concentration. And uh, putting it in a spray bottle, spraying those masks. Uh, you can also use dry heat, like in an oven or to toaster oven or a microwave. Uh, or you, the simplest way is just leave it in the sun for a couple hours and your mask will have no COVID and nothing on it. Just let it dry and put it in heat. Remember, heat kills the COVID. Uh, we have the luxury of having a UV oven, uh, UV uh, light or UVC in specific, uh, kills uh, everything, kills bacteria, kills viruses, and will kill your skin and be very dangerous at a certain uh, wavelength. We have these ovens we can throw in our masks and we call, them, we call it baking them. We bake them for uh, as many minutes as we want, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, nothing stays on them. And uh, I believe you can get UV ovens as well. These ovens also accommodate the P100 mask, which is a little bit more substantial in size. And uh, that ensures that after we utilize them, after we disinfect them, they get sterilized again inside the UV oven. Uh, as the pandemic, pandemic uh, continued, uh, that was the time for innovation. And, and we thought about what is the simplest way, the most cost-effective cost way that we can create a mechanism to quickly disinfect. Well, this was at the time uh, where the washable gowns were not available. They were even in a more precarious supply chain and we would have to go to uh, tailors or a factory to make them. Long story, they're available now. And before we had only the paper PPE and had to go from patient to patient. And they were, as Dr. Simon said, like gold. And we wanted to disinfect them and make them virus free. We knew that heat is killing the virus. So we assigned an assistant to basically have this hot air uh, along the lines of where we were exposed to the virus. And the beautiful thing of it is it dries uh, within 30 to 60 seconds. And uh, basically this was used before uh, when you travel to uh, make your clothing look nice and uh, remove all the uh, uh, little uh, wrinkles away from it. But basically we found this a very quick method to at least disinfect our PPE. As we have told you, uh, we keep still the uh, paper uh, PPE available, but use it less and less since we have now the washable gowns and washable caps. And now this is basically as a reserve. But uh, at home, you may want to consider using this on closing if you don't want to continuously wash it. I would only add to it, and Dr. Simon will go to it, uh, speaking about closing, uh, the same like we go into the office when you think about closing. One of the first thing is that I think we all are going back to the Japanese tradition that when you come home, remove your shoes that have touched everything and spray them either with something like this or just use an alcohol spray and leave them outside. The problem with alcohol is that you have to leave it for at least three to five minutes wet in order to kill the virus but you leave your shoes just in the front of the office and the same with closing, or wash your closing when you come from uh, contact of other people back home. Dear patient, it hasn't been easy to stay home and it hasn't been easy to close our practice for all this time. But although we were closed, we started to plan our return. We envisioned a practice that is adapted to the current situation, a practice where you feel comfortable coming in and being treated in it a practice that is Corona safe. So we designed a workflow that addresses this, a workflow that is efficient in time and minimizes interactions and in the number of people in the office. So how can we achieve that? Be efficient and practical and also deliver high-end treatment. 
plus make you feel how much we care about you. So here is how it goes. Your appointment will be scheduled over the phone as always. We will be asking a few extra questions on the phone as part of our screening process. Thank you for your time answering them. You will get an appointment reminders to your email and phone as a text message. These would have a quick questionnaire that you will be answering. It's called the wellness form. We are doing this to ensure no patients with symptoms enter our office. We apply the same to the doctors and all team members in our practice. We also have a special protocol for handling mail and packages. These get disinfected before entering the practice. Now here's the first big difference. Don't just walk in. We will text you when we are ready for you. Then walk in. Make sure you wear a mask. Our office is a masked environment. If you don't have a mask, we'll provide one to you. We got you covered. In case you didn't fill out the wellness form, you'll fill it out there. It only takes a few seconds. By the way, we only allow scheduled patients to come in. We have a special protocol for all patients, which is the same as we are using for our staff. We will take your temperature, we'll ask you to sanitize your hands. You will see HEPA filters scattered around the office. These machines filter and remove all particles in the air, including the COVID virus. Then you're off to your treatment. We will ask you to pre-rinse before your treatment. This reduces the number of microorganisms in your mouth and minimizes contamination. Our treatment room has been prepared prior to your arrival to maximize the safety of your treatment. On top of that, we are using a special fogger that kills all viruses with a non-toxic solution. In our new protocols, we don't produce aerosols during a cleaning and we will manually polish your teeth. As things evolve, we will keep you posted on the new protocols. If you're planned to have a procedure done, your check-in process will be the same. We will bring you to the treatment room and besides the doctors and the assistants and the HEPA filter, you'll see another machine. This is a device that suctions all the aerosols and captures them. Look at it like a large vacuum cleaner for medical purposes. Our doctors and assistants will wear personal protective equipment, including a gown, a cap, a special mask, and a shield. It takes some time to put them on, but it's still us below. As much as we would want to, we will not be able to shake your hand. We are sorry. During the treatment, as always, we will focus on making sure you are comfortable. Medical offices tend to be cold, so make sure to bring a jacket or even a blanket. Feel free to use your phone or other devices to listen to music during your treatment. After getting post-operative instructions and some medications, you're set to go. Your follow-up appointment has already been scheduled and your payment has been processed. Thank you for entrusting us with your treatment. We appreciate your confidence. Speedy recovery. We got you covered.